so good to have you here. Welcome to today's recording session. For people who have missed Teddy, here he is. So he jumped on my table to spread around his hairs. But um, yeah, hello. Hello. Oh no. <laughs> Teddy, if you're gonna lick yourself, I'm gonna kick you out of this room. Hi! <laughs> oh lord, what an intro. Like, never get used to those ones. Oh, people are gonna think that I'm drunk, but I'm not. I just ate and I'm happy. <laughs> In today's video, I'm actually going to do a traditional black, grayish, smoky eye. I'm gonna like dip into different palettes that I have, just basically shopping my stash my makeup stash because uh yeah we're just gonna work with uh, what we have <laughs> listen it's monday okay like if i say crazy things i'm so sorry i also noticed just right now that i'm just zoomed in too much but um doesn't really matter because we're gonna get into the makeup anyway for today's look i'm actually going to dig into the sigma what is it untamed palette and I think also Natasha Denona. And for the final touches, we are gonna we're gonna we're gonna dig into this one because I want to try something, and I really think that that one special shade in this palette is going to do it. Let's get into this look creation, and I'm gonna prime my eyes with eyeshadow base. We're just gonna skip that part. I'm gonna edit it out. <laughs> I got myself some side bangs, you guys. Like, I felt like I, I needed some volume in my hair. And I was like, let me cut my bangs back. I definitely have volume now. It's like just a little bit difficult to manage it, but... Well, not difficult, it's just different, you know? But at least I have, like, some, like, framing going on, you know? To hide my um, puffy cheeks from the weight gain. Which is still happening. <laughs> But it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna pull through, you know? We're like working out. We're trying to eat healthy. Well, actually, <laughs> I'm still eating so much like unhealthy crap. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay because you only live once. So yeah. Now, because we are doing this smoky eyeshadow look and I have basically deep set eyes, I am definitely going to set my eyeshadow base because I want maximum blending and less patchiness. I'm using the Jeffree Star, what is it? Rose setting powder that smells like cotton candy. I don't know if you have that one, but... It just smells like cotton candy. And sometimes it is so finely milled that I inhale it. And then I have to cough because that's disgusting. But it smells really good. We need to be really, really precise. Because uh, working with dark shades can be really intimidating. And you need to... Well, you need to try to kind of like transition to those darker shades. Because you don't want any patchiness. And I am kind of going for that seamless look. So, with that being said, I'm nervous. <laughs> it's been a while. Like, I almost never do smoky eye looks. Um, the classic ones, you know, the, the black and the gray silver and so on. So I am a little bit nervous for this. Yeah. Because I don't want to look like Panda. So I think I'm going to transition to it. So I'm going to grab the Natasha Denona palette first. And I think I'm going to dig into this shade right here. And yes, I am using a dirty brush, but I color corrected it. So it's fine. <clears throat> Just going to lay down this color, make sure that it's settled. And what I'm actually going to do is... Um, I was thinking about maybe we need to do like a little bit of like purple up in there like a transition shade we can do that maybe it's gonna be pretty like we don't know but we can try at least so i'm gonna take the same brush and i'm gonna dip into this shade if you don't have the palettes that i do please don't buy them unless you really want to but if you have more or less similar colors just use that one okay so i'm just gonna tap it you can say what you want but sigma matte shades 
are just divine. <laughs> They're probably the best matte shades I've ever used. They just blend so, so nicely. Mm. I'm gonna build up now to the darker color. Therefore, I'm actually going back to Glam Palette. First, I'm going to deposit probably this shade into my eyelid or even this one. So I'm not really sure. Probably go back and forth. That's also allowed. And I am going to take just a smaller blending brush and just like not to go overboard. Because you can go overboard with Smoky Eye really fast. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Sigma E33. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, don't look at my nails. They're disgusting. Pop it on the outer corner. Just before we are going to deep dive into the black shade, I really want to emphasize that if you want to do a smoky eye, please know your eye shape first because makeup is meant to enhance your... <laughs> enhance. Makeup is meant to enhance your natural beauty, not like diminish it because of the eyeshadow application or whatever. Does that make sense? Like I know I have deep set eyes, so I know that I have to like stay the hell away with dark shades like here in this area. And it's also important with eyeshadow application if you want to do a smoky eye, like know your eye shape, you know? I think we can go a little bit darker. Today I am in a good mood. I have energy for some reason. I don't know. So I'm just gonna kind of like stay in this area and not go any further up because then I will just basically create two black holes in my skull, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna try to kind of like stay on the outer edges. <clears throat> now I'm going to dip into this darker shade and just pack it on. So, and if you also want to, you can actually leave this matte shade like it is, or you can put like a shimmer on top of it, like a darker shimmer. Um, I mean, it just kind of depends what kind of look you want to create. And I think in today's video, I am going to do also my lower side, cause I ain't going nowhere. So I'm gonna take, well, usually I just take like an angle brush and I dip into it and I really like stamp it in because if you have contact lenses and the shadow gets up in there, that stinks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I wanna go for the full effect. So I'm gonna grab my NYX glitter primer. I store it in my Tammy Tanuka, <laughs> like small, eyeshadow, I don't know, potties, pot, 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 pan, uh, whatever, and jar, it's my jaw, and I'm just going to apply it on the inner corner, so it is just making sure that your eyeshadow will stick, and um, the shade that I'm going for in today's look is actually going to be that glittery shade in Pat McGrath's palette. This one. Like, I want to see where it will take us. Have you used the Pat McGrath um, eye intensify thingy where you just basically, it's like a bomb that you put on top of your lid and then it just like makes the shadows stick to your lid a little bit more. I guess you can compare it a little bit with the NYX glitter primer, but I really want to try that one, like, I want to see what it does. Does it break your eyeshadow from underneath? Yes or no? If you have it, please say something in the comments down below. I think it costs like 33 bucks. Let me finish the other eye and then I will come back. <laughs> what do you think about the whole picture? I mean, this is the look that we're rocking today, okay? It is glam. If you're wondering what kind of lipstick I'm wearing or what shade this is, um, I used Maybelline New York Super, what is it, Super Stay Matte Ink in shade 50, Voyager. Um, it makes your teeth kind of like a little bit wider because it's a cooler 
red tone, which is nice. I love it. Ah, that's it. Thank you guys, and I see you on the next one. Bye! Thank you.